Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dragon's Dogma 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing um, the class playthrough. Uh, we're just uh, trying to figure out a little bit more of uh, the game. Uh, today is going to be the archer. So without further ado, we got a new quest uh, which comes in even before we're hunting. It's called Oxcart Carrier, and we're going to just do that as the main quest. In terms of map, we need to get to Melv. I don't know where that is. Oh, right up there. And deliver a message. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? We can doze off uh, during the cart ride, and I'm pretty sure that we're going to be ambushed. This is just how RPG we logic have works. To deliver, do we not? Let us find the intended recipient. We ought to make the delivery now, lest it should end up lost or misplaced. True enough. All right, let's get up and let's find the Where person that needed uh, the delivery. Our ox carts are fine. Me, they are kind of the fast traveling see. system. A guide of most welcome. Now we shan't lose. So we need to deliver it to the recipient. Well, that is fantastic. The quest descriptions in this game are horrible. Letter to Sir Leonard. Sir Leonard. All right. Where do I find uh, Sir Leonard? All you need of me. Is that oh fine? I got my hopes up. Wait, listen. Would you be willing to search? Brave fool said he was going to look. I'd go and search for him myself. Only I I'm not afraid of mobs. So I thought. All right, maybe. let's uh, get another I'm quest really going because going why not? The, qu uh, the game it. definitely has uh, enough quests and material if you're me. enjoying I'll that. I'll need you to watch over me. Right. We must fly to the aid of those in need. Go that, do that, Isidra. But for now, all I want is to deliver, uh, to deliver that traveler. letter. Well, I used to be a cell sword. See, time was I spent. Okay. Let what me find uh, the guy, and we'll fast forward it for you. The other day. Good. I just uh, happen to remember that Sir Leonard even introduced himself. He's uh, the super warrior, so might as well deliver that to him. Ah, a letter from Lady Margaret, you say? It is a fair way you've come, then. My thanks. She's a kindly sort, I must say. We met when I worked with her husband, Sir Gregor. Now she's taken to inquiring after my health at the turn of every season. Our results are awaited. What say we make our report? Fabulous. So since we're anyways here, we've... We need to report back to Donovan, but since we're anyways here, near Melv, might as well uh, do another quest, which uh, would you guys say? So... Find Norbert. Uh, that guy is a little bit further north. Seems to me that we're talking about very much uh, further north, but that's okay. We'll get there. Hopefully that involves a little bit more fighting. One of the things uh, that Dragon Dogma does very well is once you are uh, fighting it uh, becomes enjoyable. I'm not trying to downplay the dialogues. Uh, a good RPG needs to have that as well. Just but wonder. I think that Looks games like Skyrim, for instance, uh, did the dialogue part a little bit be uh, better, well just cleaner, here. because you didn't need to just... I have a knack for gathering items, and I'm ever on the hunt. You didn't need to just run around wildly. Um, 
this game here is a little bit less polished when it comes so that might be a design decision and i leave it up to you whether or not you like kind of the old school uh, the old school way of too bad if you don't uh, remember the npc name like 50 uh, weeks ago that you have met then you now need to search or if you rather like a little bit more uh, streamlining at the end of the day games are escapisms so you um, you might not want to waste your time running around in circles for hours at end but that's just my personal take on it a little bit more hand holding certainly would have gone a long way or just clearer quest descriptions i don't mind searching but general um, search descriptions with yeah bring that letter to blah 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 or get the uh, get the um, magistrate and that's about it really didn't sit that well uh, with me let's stop here a moment I've camped here with my brother many a time. In another world, I learned that a forgotten rift stone lies nearby. Shall I escort you there, Master? Good, we're very happy. Uh, heavy. Let's... Get a camp going. Easing our load. I can't carry more than two camps around with me. And we're going to get a big fat buff. That's fantastic. Now. Let's make sure like a feast to get you ready for bed. that we're waiting until the morning. And we Gucci. Fantastic. Now, as you can see, there are already enemies on the way back there. Let's see how the archer plays, shall we? So, we've got normal shots. Tis a glad thing we rested when. Oh wow! Look at that. We, must not down our guard. we have multi-shot. We have penetrating shot, bam, and we got the typical quick shot. Well, I tell you what, uh, the archer with that I could count upon your strength arisen. the archer with auto aim is almost even more imbalanced than than playing a wizard. There isn't that much to it if you're just standing in the back and are rocking a couple of a couple of shots i think this game was really designed around the concept of melee combat and it excels at that but why put that many range classes in there also the damage of the archer seems a bit busted anyways that's just first impressions something was coming down here What I like about the game though is the exploration uh, mechanic. You're always you're always incentivized just to look left and right, left and right. All right, can't hit this guy back there. Fair enough. Okay, keep it going. More wolves ahead of the way. Can anyone hear me? Oh Please. yeah, we can. I need help. <laughs> the damage. Behave. A 
arisen. Are you all right? Good. In all fairness, we got a I really good bow and good for. equipment. Ah, it was a near thing. I think I'll be all right. But it save your thanks, Norbert. I'm your brother, and I ought have come sooner. From where I'm standing, all that matters is that you made it in time. Anyway, I'm eager to be rid of this place. Let's return to the village, shall we? The sooner, the better. I've got to deliver these medicinal herbs to the people who need them. Ah, you'll hear no complaints from me. Let's be off then. We must proceed with caution, lest our charge come under attack. Fabulous. So, we got plenty of medicinal herbs. And did we find anything up here? I mean, we're far up in the north. Uh, a part of me wants to explore. That's the part that I like most. I never about would it. have expected to find a cave in a place like this. It is an exciting discovery. But we ought not to lose our heads. Okay, these dream catchers are typic, uh, typical signs of witches. Uh-oh. Look at that auto-aim. Heavy attack and the guy just goes down. This is my place to hmm. That's not bad. Two archers, one warrior, one mage might be a very, very powerful combination. Maybe not for indoor, but we're going to see. Even here it uh, did this is generally super used well as a material. so far. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Cool. Interesting little cave. I, I still like the, the Goblin Dungeon the most out of all of the dungeons. And I'm hoping that there are more, maybe even a little bit of a fortress it. of enemies. That was good in Skyrim. I think just from a balancing perspective, this year has a bit more of an RP tone to it. Not uh, necessarily bad. All right. Of course, we're getting attacked. Do no less service to the AOE shot. Yep, nice. Uh oh. Okay, let's see how this guy is. He's going to play out as an archer. The product of heedlessness. Well, certainly not good if uh... Oh well boy. Our evasion isn't great. We need healing. There isn't just got thrown nicely down. I see it now. Forgive me for being the burden arisen. All right. Gotta take these small ones down. Burst and fall. Look out, Risen! We're under attack! 
Oh wow. Thank you for bringing um, our warrior out. It seems we have a so we're retrying that and I need to get on top of this hill. From here it's gonna be much easier. Good. These penetrating shots are hitting very uh, well. Problem is, I need a lot of endurance. Yeah, look at the damage. I mean, it's continuously uh, good damage, I would say. And then in between, you just need to do a couple of loose arrows. Okay, it's good. Two shots, those penetrating shot. Yeah, about the same. I was a little bit too ambitious with uh, my stamina utilization. And our positioning was off. So learning effect here with the archer. And that's why I'm trying to do those um, little class introductions. Is you can do a lot, but you just need to be in a safe spot. Fantastic. Another statue. Cool. So that wasn't too bad. We got ourselves a cave there and we're continuing to explore. I think what I would want to do is still sort of move maybe to the Border Watch outpost and there's so much to explore, man. I will protect you. If you're just standing at a location, granted, uh, you need to manage your stamina better than I do. But if you're just standing at a location, uh, this character class is busted uh, damage. However, I will say that due to the limitation of the stamina, I retract my initial statement. Uh, the DPS is fine. You I cannot continuously do it. Fitting reward for a rigorous search. Wolf's drawn in. I doubt I will be of any use again. The AOE damage is really good. Cool, we got ourselves another um, cave, and you know how much I like the caves, no right? Uh, by far uh, the most entertaining uh, stuff. The Mountain Secret. Okay, that's what I love to hear. Okay, we got two ways. I think we're just going to do the circle. The one thing that I learned so far is there is typically kind of a round uh, trip where you're starting in one uh, side of uh, the dungeon and then you just go all around. Higher dungeon of oozes. I think mages are most effective against these creatures. Yeah, 
Okay, yeah, once you freeze them, they are immediately dead. Pray, allow me to open your chest. Okay, indoor definitely not as effective as outdoor which was not surprising the auto ranger with a good positioning can do so much with the slightest sound i wonder if they do have a similar skill <coughs> than the mages <coughs> which uh, which is levitation but i think uh, that is mage only but with levitation, uh, these guys here would be absolutely unstoppable. Nice, we got more to explore. And of course, we're being ambushed. One of us has been drenched. Do not despair. I'm coming to your aid. Go where your help is needed. Come on, move. One thing that you don't want to do with oozes is stand in the middle of uh, them. Can you guys maybe attack them? Or is it just Dahlia who can attack them? Shots are dealing no damage whatsoever. Take care where you place your feet. A sharp incline is as like to throw us off balance as tis our enemies. Oh, come on, I don't want to die to oozes. And Dahlia, you are needed. Fantastic, there we go. Finally they are frozen. Alright, lesson learned. Oozes. Don't mess around with them. Ian unfortunately perished here, and I can't revive him because he's not a pawn. I like it that every dungeon seems to have a theme, and the theme of this dungeon is ooze. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Slides! Most unpleasant. Ice is our ally against such fiends. Ice is our ally against those fiends. Yep, that is true.
Good. Problem solved. We can really deal no Dare damage. We trounced our foe. Well and true. Overconfidence isn't. You truly are formidable, Arisen. Good. I'm sure someone who's more experienced with the game will know that there is some sort of an ice weapon enchant or a potion that you can drink in order to make your weapon icy. I see you've been drenched. Dry off as soon as you can. Oh, what we can do for sure. I'll save you. It is vital you remain level headed. Is get these guys with uh, commercial uh, conventional attacks. Oh. Look at you, someone was hiding. And unfortunately, main pawn has been eliminated back there. That's not cool. It is not an enemy to be taken lightly. We must strike boldly and with presence of mind. True enough. Complete shocker. We would have never guessed that it was an ooze. If I was to throw Ian, is that dealing damage? No, it's not. Our foe is resistant to physical attacks. Will naught but magic serve us here? Dahlia, we will need your help. Let's just double check our items. I can't believe that I have nothing against that. Medicine, curious effect. Um, using that, okay. Blighted, sleep, torched, unconscious. Uh, what is this? An arrow explodes after a time. Can we like use that? That could uh, these arrows could be the solution. Expanded after incendiary shot. Now we don't have incendiary shot. Hmm. Okay, let's explore a little bit deeper. Oh no, oh no. I shall fly to your aid, Master. And just double checking something. Why am I so overburdened? Uh, that is not okay. As long as we're in the very heavy um, uh, part, that's just not... Heavy is okay, but he very heavy will mean we're losing too much stamina. And give me this here, just in case. 
I've learned by now that there are quite a few enemies around. Oh, well spotted. Indeed. And this here Good on you is our only so way so. to deal with slime. Fabulous. See, that's how it's done, guys. Uh, we just ran out of explosive kegs, though. I like it that you can use the environment against uh, the oozes and that they do have a very clear strength weakness profile. But Dahlia, our mage, isn't really abusing that a lot. What I also like is uh, that this here is a pretty massive cave. The walls are too close for comfort here. Should we encounter trouble, we'd be at a disadvantage. Prepare to engage. You're soaked. Do you try not to catch cold? Nope. Does this here help us? She's single-handedly solo killing this thing. Second mage would have worked wonders in this cave. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We cannot expect gleaming treasures around every corner. Nice, these are the teleportation stones that I mentioned earlier. Uh, besides, since we're a ranger now, um, I might switch one of the companions. You would be an option. We could go double mage. But I think that just the core uh, setup is good enough. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive. So if we're hiring her, uh, that's a down. That's a pretty I've sizable downgrade. You know what? We'll just leave it as is. Two rangers for now. Isn't the end of the world. There is a rumor whispered among pawns that I have oft pondered. The gist of it is when pawns travel beyond the rift, we can contract a peculiar illness that impacts. Look at that. We got ourselves. Around us. At first, we are only restless and excitable, but in time, we become so unruly that even the arisen holds no sway over us. Indeed. Well, we shall have to remain watchful, lest one of our company should start showing signs of this sickness. Okay, ah. Remember, I said someone was uh, sliding down there. Uh, that's the, uh, the exit of the cave. Cool. Very well. I think we've seen a fair share of that character class. I'll travel back and in the next uh, adventure we're going to take on uh, the mighty two-handed uh, warrior. I the think it's, on, it's called warrior, uh, not the fighter we class, and we're going to see um, how one of the advanced uh, types is going to fare. Uh, for now, thanks a lot for watching, truly appreciate it. If you like Dragon's Dogma and what it has to offer, then leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.